Okay, so on this question, they're given as x squared minus 2x minus 9, 9 equals 0. And they're wanting us to say first use completing the square, use the completing the square process to write the equation in that form. Any of your results below. Okay, so what are they talking about? Well, let me uh, let me bring in if I have room right there. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll try. So I'm going to take the uh, x squared minus two x minus ninety nine equals zero. Okay, so how does that work? Well. Um, what we do is we identify the a, b, and c, you know, as we've done means a is 1, b is the minus 2, c is the minus 99, right? And then we go over on the side of our paper, and we take b over 2 quantity squared. That's the magic formula that gives you just what you need. So you take the b, so in my case, that's negative 2, right? My b is negative 2 right here over to quantity squared, which is negative one squared, which is negative one times negative one, which is positive one, isn't it? Okay, so what, what do I do with that? Well, then I, then I take the x squared minus two x and that positive one that I just found, I put it right next to the two x, but I can't change anything, right? I can't change the problem. I can't change its value. I can only change the way it looks. So if I put in a plus one, I've got to also put in a minus one Sneak those in and just keep everything else, everything else in place. Is that making sense so far? Everybody see what I did? I both added one and subtracted one and snuck that in right next to the 2x. That doesn't change anything. It's just a big zero. Now, why do I do that? Because now these three right here will factor as two parentheses. How so? X times X. Now what, remember how factoring works? You want multiply, add, multiply, right? So what two numbers multiply to be positive one add to be negative two? It's gonna be negative one, negative one, huh? Negative one times negative one is positive one. They multiply to be positive, right? Two negatives multiply to be positive, but they add to be a bigger negative. Negative two in the middle, right? If you lose a pound and lose a pound, you lost two pounds. Right, they add up to be negative, but they multiply. Two negatives multiply to be positive. So that's perfect and right. Okay, and then what about the other step? Just bring it down. Just bring it all down. Okay, and now x minus one twice is squared, isn't it? And then what do these guys make? Minus one minus 99, that's minus 100. Just combine them together. So there we go. We got it into the format that they're talking about. That's what they want us to write right here in these blanks. Oh, wait a minute, almost. Sorry, they, they, um, we just need to move the 100 to the other side. And then we'll be golden. Add the 100. To both sides. Boom, boom. There we go. That's what they said they want. So <clears throat> I will type that in. And how do I know they said that? Well, right here. See how they said it right here? They said we want x plus something squared equals something. Right? I'm just looking at that template, that model, that setup, that format that they gave me. They said, make it look like this, please. Make, make it have x plus a number squared equals a number. So I'm doing that. All right, so I'll do that. I'll write that right over here where they want it. This will be X minus one squared, and that'll be the 100. Does that make sense? So that's what they want in part A. So we're done with part A. And now let's take it over here for part B. We take that and they say, now solve your equation and put in the answers. Separated by a comma. Okay, so now I'm going to use I'm going to use this little magic method to solve for x. How can I solve this equation? Now we've changed the game a little bit. Well, we've extended the game. This was the game all along. Now they're saying, okay, we want to get x alone. Go ahead and get x alone. Okay, so how do I do that? You guys know, right? First thing you know, it's 
X and I want to be alone, get rid of this two power, get rid of this minus one so that I can be alone, right? And so first steps first, square root, square root. And what do I have to do? When you put a roof on the house, don't forget plus or minus. I remember my kind of dorky saying, when you put a root on both sides, you put a roof on the house, you got to go up and down the ladder, plus and minus, huh? And then over here, rooting cancels squaring. They're opposites of each other. The root, the two power, the parentheses just all goes away. Plus or minus square root of 100 is 10, huh? You with me? It's 10. And so now what do you do? Well, that means two separate equations, doesn't it? That means x minus 1 is positive 10, or x minus 1 is negative 10, right? That plus or minus goes into two different types like that, and then plus one, plus one. And so, bam, so X is 11, and plus one, plus one, bam, X is, what's that, minus nine. So, uh, so there's the two answers, 11 and minus, nine. So that's what they want to write up here, 11 comma minus nine. You put the minus nine first and the 11, the order doesn't matter, just separate them with a comma. And so, there we go.